Welcome to my review of the Core FX 4D FX Haptic Feedback Gaming System from Immerse. This is the first haptic feedback vest I have tried extensively and I'm super excited as I love devices that increase immersion. Immerse has some pretty heavy claims about this device, even going out of their way to include a safety note stating that the Core FX generates powerful emotional and physical effects. Well, mark me down as scared and excited. For more exciting reviews, stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips. The Corsair HX1200i power supply delivers 80 plus platinum efficiency for quiet performance and Corsair Link digital advanced monitoring and control. Click now to learn more. First things first, physical overview. You have little pouches for holding various electronics and speakers, along with included the four battery slots, two by two. By the way, batteries themselves are not included. In the middle of the chest piece, you have a removable Velcro pad, so you can put something like your clan logo, and behind that you have the two vibrating transducers. The yellow buttons on the right side of the chest piece control the amplitude of the transducers, so essentially your intensity. The buttons on the left side are power, which is pretty self-explanatory, bind, which will bind your chest piece to the control box, and mode, which will use or change between three different modes or filters. The first filter is the least inclusive and involves the lows, like deep bass. The second filter also includes lows from the first filter, but also now includes the mid-range. Filter 3 is, as you guessed it, an all-encompassing filter, which includes lows, mids, and highs. To explain that, the Core FX functions by receiving audio from your computer. That little control box acts as an in-between. So you have a line in and a line out that would go to your headphones or speakers. And then depending on the sound that comes into the line in, the Core FX will then vibrate. I'm not going to go super in-depth on how to set all of that up or setting up other various things because the Core FX crew actually has some quite good videos on how to get yourself going in various different setups. You can check for those at corefx.com start. With the help of those videos and some well-spent time, you should be able to get this unit running very nicely, very quickly. The control box is a little lackluster in the way that it has no rubber or feet on the bottom and will likely just slide around your desk, especially because it is so freaking light. The box features a line in and line in volume, a plug for USB mini B to deliver power, line out, line out volume, and a power switch and a bind button to bind to the vest. Before we move on, I must make a note about the cables. They are really short, and at first I was quite worried about this, but in use I didn't actually find it to be that bad, as the unit wirelessly connects to the vest, so this little box can just live near the back of my computer, where all my plugs are anyways, although it's something to take note on depending on your setup. In wearability terms, it wasn't that bad. Its size and adjustment abilities kind of allow it to fit on a very wide variety of body types, but I really would have preferred it if the form factor was something like an actual tactical vest and not reminiscent of a sports bra. This would make the unit feel much more real for the immersion people out there and would allow them to have more transducers. Speaking of transducers, or lack thereof, how does this thing perform? Well, not that great, unfortunately. As expected, the vibrations from the transducers are weak, and the fact that there are only two of them, and they both happen to sit right kind of on either side of my chest is a little sucky. Their positioning and the lack of any other transducers doesn't help with immersion. Anytime the legendary scenario of a grenade going off near me would happen, I would just be too distracted by the fact that apparently the grenade only had an effect on my inner pecs to really appreciate the shrapnel riddled death that I just endured. I want something with oomph. I want something that actually makes me feel like I'm in the moment, which is also a problem because of how the unit operates. Basing the vibration solely off of sound makes it really fun to listen to dubstep and maybe some metal, but rather distracting in most games. For shooters, you get vibration every time you shoot, which makes sense because of recoil, but is a little odd because, yet again, it's in the middle of your chest, not your arms or your shoulders. If someone happens to talk with a deep, growly voice, your vest will probably vibrate. If you're playing a game with background combat noise, like Battlefield, your vest will vibrate a lot. If you're playing a racing game, it doesn't feel like you're racing. It feels like you're enduring the world's worst chest massage. So in conclusion, at $150, the Core FX vest isn't for me. 
It doesn't feel like an actual vest I would wear. The vibrations feel inconsequential and largely end up getting ignored, especially because of the vest vibrating at all the wrong times. To be fair though, I don't actually want to rag on a MERS. I walked into this review really hoping this thing would be awesome, and it just unfortunately was not. But I do think there is a market for high quality gaming vests, especially with consumer VR right around the corner. The thing is though that we really need a lot more force in the feedback, a better overall vest construction so that it feels real, a better logical system for when the vest should trigger, which will probably require developer support, so won't even be supported in that many games, unfortunately. That being said, that ideal vest that I just described would be really expensive. The, the cost of working with developers, the cost of more physical material because it would have to be a bigger vest, the cost of a better way to interpret explosions and stuff so you can actually feel them, more transducers, better transducers, all that kind of stuff is gonna cost more. That vest could easily be five or 600 bucks and then people probably wouldn't buy it anyways. So I don't know. So what do you guys think? Am I wrong? Is it awesome? Let me know in the comments down below over on the forum. While you're still here, comment that my opinion sucks and this thing is amazing and that you really like the color of the vest because it's black and orange and that's our colors. I just noticed that now. Anyways, like, dislike, favorite, share, subscribe, follow, all that kind of fun stuff. Check out the link in the description down below to get a Linus Tech Tips official shirt if you maybe still like our videos after I ragged on this vest. Over on the forum, if you jump over there, you can see the uh, affiliate section and where our sponsors are. You can also see how to change your Amazon affiliate code, which helps us out a ton. You can install the forum add-on for Chrome or Firefox, which can do that for you or handle your notifications and PMs for you. Also, don't forget to become a contributor on the forum. That helps us out a ton as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.